I'm in my the fancy car they sent me to take me to the airport to Fort Lauderdale. No cabs for me because I'm fancy. We flew out of frigid New York to warm Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're at the Parker Playhouse. We had a very successful first leg of this part of the tour of Divorce Party Musical. And now that I'm back in freezing New York, I can't wait till the next leg of the tour where in a couple weeks we leave to play the El Portal Theater in North Hollywood, California. Back in the city, I resumed my nice and easy temp job where they seemed happy to have me back, and I started submitting and auditioning as if I didn't have a nice contract to go back. To fight the urge to sit around and do nothing and wait to leave on tour again, I've thrown myself back into auditioning classes and acting like I don't have a, a great part to go back to. I've been working on some video submissions as well as attending those cattle calls. Every six months, they've got to see people for Phantom and Lemiz. Why not me? I'm also hitting my dance classes religiously, and I've made some other changes. At the suggestion of my fellow understudy, I started coaching with a new guy, Kevin Cruel. We are completely overhauling my audition soundbook in the hopes of moving me to the next step in my career. And hopefully I can move from funny guy who takes his shirt off all the time to real romantic leading man. Tell me where in the world can I live without your love? Where on the earth, tell me where on the earth can I stay? In Florida, I spent a lot of time talking about the business with the lady who plays the female understudy on my tour. She had a lot to say about stepping up to the plate and taking what you want, and no fear and no apologies. At the end of 2012, I requested a meeting with the head of my agency, and I asked for what I wanted. I wanted to move from freelancing to be a signed client with film, television, and commercial. I signed the papers and I'm now an exclusive client of the Andriatis Talent Agency. And I booked a play, authored by our friend and the lady who married us, Caroline Prue. The piece is an epic sci-fi post-apocalyptic feminine space opera. So something different. I'll close out with a sneak peek. 2012 was a great year, but trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. It was a hellish night. No rest, no sleep. It had been coming, building for days on end, and that night, that night, Ravinia came to me and began prophesizing days to come and what I was to do. It was overwhelming. Yet, as she revealed to me who I was, a certainty rose up from my gut, laying hold and flooding every sense of my being certainty and strength from that certainty. Mine. This was mine. This power, mine. This identity, mine. This destiny, mine. Sharp be the knife and sweat.